Hey everybody, it's uh, Optolin Spiritual with another coffee cup reading for the weekly, weekly cup, <laughs> the week ahead. Thank you guys so much for my last weekly video. I can't believe it. I had like 1K of views on there. That That's like amazing. So um, yeah, I'm very proud and I don't know <laughs> what, what was so, you know, amazing but i don't know it just i guess it just happened i don't know i was so happy um thank you for all the likes and shares and thank you for supporting me always always and um i appreciate you more than you know and uh yeah thank you very much for, like for for everything so you know thank you so here we go this is another coffee cup weekly reading and this is gonna be, what what was it for? <laughs> Let me think. I just looked at the calendar <laughs> just before I did this. The I the twenty second, yeah, the twenty second to the 29th. So right next to Halloweeny, you know what I'm saying? I just got done. Uh, I just got done watching Halloween Town again. For like like the millionth time so i love that movie um i was actually watching all of them because they're like on repeat right now on uh on youtube live but i never watched the last one because they changed the main character marnie to like another person so i never like watched that one but i watched it today for the first time and it was actually pretty good so yeah i feel like there's a completion here of a of the end here there's a completion here because that happened it was random and uh yeah so let's find out what's going on this week this special week that's right next to halloweeny so let's see and as always you know like share and subscribe if you enjoy what i do and all that good stuff and let's do this let's see all right so right on the outside right here there's communication right away that's happening so this could happen like the day before the week starts so sunday you know what i mean and i'm seeing letter m and letter u here so there's something and i'm hearing like university too so maybe this is like communication for like your school or like your university and I'm also seeing, this is very interesting here. I'm, I'm also seeing a tool here, but it looks like, uh, it looks like two different things. Well, honestly, it looks like a music note, but it, it was giving me almost like a flosser, you know, for like your teeth, you know, like a, like a flosser. So you could be going to the dentist or there's something this week where your teeth are going to be sensitive you know and oh my gosh i'm seeing like a giant star here do you see that wow if you're a musician you're gonna hit something big this week or you're gonna do something where you're gonna be a star you're gonna be seen as a star this week wow that's pretty cool letter h and um yeah this is like stardom here you could be um, going viral or something. There's three people in your energy that are really uh, watching you, paying attention to you. There's something with that. And it's connected to this, this star. So this could be three people coming towards you that is going to lead to this wish here this week. Hmm. And there's a path opening up here and it's right here connected to here so we're gonna see what that is like why is that significant this also looks like an airplane to me so you could be traveling to an island or something letter j is right there letter j so let's see definitely communication right here Definitely communication. So let's see. Wow. 
What is that? Mmm. Here's the cup. Wow, there's like a giant number two right there. <laughs> Do you see that? What is happening? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess they want you to know what's going on. Look at this like big chunk of uh, coffee right here. There's like a big money here. I just want to see really quick that outside part. That's connected to love here. So this whole thing, music, the star and everything, it's connected to love. So this could be someone coming towards you. Yeah, this is your divine counterpart. They could be born on the 12th. They could be year of the pig. They could be year of the ox, year of the rat, or year of the tiger. Or they could be um, Sagittarius, because that's 12, sun, moon, or rising. They could be an Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising. They could be a Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. Hmm. And then you have this. Yeah, it's all the same thing here. It's connected to this number two. So maybe the second day of the the week here. Okay, so let's let's see what's going on here. Alright. Let me see. Hmm. So you could be seeing two, two, two a lot. That's the first thing this week is, is there's a lot of twos here. Maybe it's spirit talking to you, you know, through angel messages. Something is about to happen here. The next two days, you know, two hours, 2 a.m., 2 p.m. You know what I mean? There's something significant here. I'm also saying, well, I'm also saying, why? I don't know why I just said that. Hmm. Letter A here I guess they didn't want me to say what I was gonna say that wasn't the right thing I don't know I feel like something's a secret here you're not supposed to know I'm not supposed to tell you sorry I don't I don't know it's just my mind went blank anyways there's a cat here And this cat has like two eyes that are like messed up. So I don't know. There's something with like, maybe you're not seeing something right, right away. You're, you're going to be confused, effed up. I don't know. There's something here. Eyes are effed up. Like you're not seeing something here. Letter X. This could be someone that is still in your energy that's crazy or something. Maybe an X, crazy X or something. They could be born in the year of the cat. Or you were dealing with them this year. I'm seeing you're the rooster here. Hmm. Letter U. Letter C. Letter O. Hmm. Letter T there, and letter L. That could be letter Y. Wow. There's a lot of... um letters here so i'm also seeing like a little ghost you know what i'm saying like there's there's something that's like haunting you still that's in your energy this could be that x but this can also be a spirit that's trying to warn you of something this week wow this is very significant because I'm, I'm kind of getting kind of weird feeling like in my head so this is this is something where it's going to be telepathic here. You're going to feel something this week's going to happen where you're going to get like a, like a fuzzy head. You know what I mean? Like a fuzzy head feeling like, what is that? You know what I mean? Like, what, why did I just feel that way? I'm also seeing a whale here and that's saying great worry over nothing. You know what I mean? Like great worry over nothing. Letter A, letter C. I'm also seeing a mushroom here and I'm also seeing... A straight edge, like a, a, you know, like a switchblade. So it's like playing with things that are you're not supposed to be playing with. You know what I mean? Like something you're doing in danger. There's so, there's like danger here. Or, so maybe you could be doing something that's dangerous to you. Or you're going to be somewhere that you're not supposed to be. You know what I mean? ATL. 
Isn't that like Atlanta or something? Yeah, there's something here where you need to be careful. You're, you're, it's like you're playing like Russian roulette with something. I don't know. Or be careful of this person coming towards you because they're not in a good state of mind. Letter N is here as well. And there's, there's a heart here. So this is someone that's definitely like in love with you or something. I'm also seeing 21. Oh my gosh, what the hell is happening here? Look at this. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this shit? This is crazy. Straight Edge is also like, you know, Barbara tools, you know, to cut a man's beard and stuff. So maybe if you're a man, you're getting uh, like a, a really nice haircut or you're staying like really sharp. Maybe you're getting ready for like an interview or something or a project or like I said in the beginning, maybe a concert or something. Maybe this is like a big deal for you. This is like opening night of something and there's a key here so you're getting a key to something it's it's something significant you know number three is here that you it's like a key to something hmm a key to something significant here maybe you're maybe you're okay so i'm kind of getting this thing like maybe you're like a real estate agent or something and you finally sold your first house or something and it's a big deal you're making a big amount of money with this it could be something like that. Or, you know, it's your birthday or something. Hmm. This could be also someone coming towards you that has feelings for you. But it's definitely secret feelings with the mushroom here. That this is not someone you know. This, this is a secret admirer. And they could be, like, you know, very snazzy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, very rich business person. Especially if they're a man, they're, like, businessman. You know, they always stay clean cut. They, they always have their hair done nice. And they always have their beard lined up and everything like that. Letter E is here. And there's also um, a bird bringing a message here. Right here. You know? And it's being set free because I feel like it was kind of leashed. I'm kind of getting that that image in my head of, you know, in Harry Potter, when in, at Hagrid's house, he has to keep safe that, uh, that bird, that half bird, half lion. I can't think of the name right now, but there's something, okay. I just heard Alfred. So another uh, letter A is significant here, but yeah, and it had a leash, right? But they, they set it free. I feel like this bird is being set free. So this could be you being set free from a situation. Or it's like you're breaking free from something. Because it's still like that leash or whatever is still attached to its neck. But it's free now. So it's like something that's very quick here. Number one. Year of the Rat. Capricorn energy and also number nine is here in letter Q, which is significant. Um, number nine is year of the monkey. That's also, I heard Sagittarius, but this is Virgo energy here. So it could be connected to a Sagittarius or Virgo. Letter O is here. Um, nine could represent like nine days, right? Nine hours from when you see this could be significant. The ninth. So something's happening here. Hmm. You're being told a secret and I, I don't really know why this is happening. It's like, and I don't think this is from someone that you know. This is like a secret from spirit. That's what I'm getting. It's like only for your ears. It's only for you. There's something with that. I'm also seeing a wig head here. You know, like a, a like a mannequin head that you put wigs on. And it has like kind of like a ponytail wig on it. So you could be changing up your style, changing up your hairstyle to raise your vibration of something. Wow, that's very interesting. Hmm. So I feel like this new hair that you're going to have or whatever you're going to do to your appearance, it's going to raise your vibration somehow. We have... Year of the rabbit. Year of the pig. Hmm. I'm also seeing one of those like switch, not switch blades. They're like uh, stars, th those like Chinese stars that you throw. 
like someone's trying to hurt you or something. I don't know why. It's like negative energy here. Letter I, letter R, and letter T. And you're going to be receiving a message. This could be something that's like from the government or something. Something like legal here. Letter S and letter L is here. And I'm also seeing like a sub submarine here. So something with the military here. Wow. I don't know. Let a number three is here. Mm. Year of the dragon. <sighs> Year of the dog. Mm. Two years of the dog. We are the rooster. Letter F, letter G, letter Y. Hmm. And they're saying be careful. And there was some, wow, there's, there's liquid still in here. I didn't even see that. Did you guys see that? Oh, there's something really significant this week. I don't, I never even noticed that. I didn't even see that. Something's something's going to happen where it, it's it, it's not seen. It's uh, it's you're unaware of this. It's going to happen all of a sudden. I don't know. This could be like literally like a rainstorm or something. You're the snake is here or someone is going to be reveal themselves this week. I don't I did not see that. I did where, I don't even know where that came from. The cup was dry. Wasn't it? I don't know. I, I did not see that. Hmm. Yeah, so expect that. Aries, number eight, year of the, I was going to say year of the ox, but year of the goat. And there's someone that's sad over here. They look sad here and they're looking at the mirror. It's like you're not proud of yourself for some reason. You're not proud of who you are. Year of the dog. Letter D, letter V. And there's something here that is, it's like very sad here. There's a mask here also. Someone's not, someone's very sad. They're not in touch with you, but they're, they're sad over what, I don't know, something happened between you and this person. And they're, they're hiding their feelings because they have the mask on. There's two masks here. So I don't know, this is like multiple people that want to tell you how they feel, but they can't. Maybe you block these people. I don't know. Why they're showing up this week, no idea. And look, someone's running towards you here. They they wear like a, like this, this is somebody that has like a long cloak or something. And this looks like a cross in the ground. So this could be like, almost like a death, like a graveyard type of thing. Letter Z, letter J is here. It's like kind of going through the valley of darkness type of shit like and making it across like you have no fears anymore i i, I don't know what's going on this is crazy it, it's like you're you have no fears like you went through such bad things that you have no fears anymore like all these like demon creatures and all this shit because i was gonna say over here that watch the demons you know this could be your inner demons trying to kind of um you know, threat you this week or like persuade you into something, kind of tempt you into something. But it's like, you don't allow this. There's something where you don't allow this to happen here. You're not listening to that ego part. I don't know. There's a giant swan here. So it's like traveling alone. And then you have the eye of Horus here. So you're being awakened to, to this. You, you have the power here this week. There's something you're getting power now. I don't know. There's a fox here. Jumping. Taking a leap of faith here. This could be year of the dog too, but... And then there's a heart upside down here. Letter E. You see? Number three, letter C here. Number seven, year of the horse, July, um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Letter I is here. Letter H, 
and letter K. Hmm. Spirit is protecting you though um, with this freedom here. You're being set free. You're literally going, you're leaving here. Where are you going? I got goosebumps. I don't know where you're going. Here, let's ask. Where are you going with this? Where, like, where are you... Where are you jumping to here? Where are you jumping to? Love. A choice. It's something that has to do with your... I'm hearing your insides love here. Yeah, this is a soulmate that's involved here. You're you're taking a leap of faith in love here and you're leaving something behind that was making you very sad. And I feel like it's just maybe you were stuck on somebody from the past, like really bad. Maybe you thought this person was your soulmate. You had a lot of uh history with this person, but it's over. You're you're taking yeah, a leap of faith here. There's Something's going to change your mind. It could be an invitation to something. Yeah, and it's something that's going to make you feel amazing here. It's going to make you feel, I'm hearing one of a kind. So it's something where it's going to give you life again. Because I feel like you're, you're in this energy of being sad and just like not looking forward to anything here and feeling stuck. But that's changing here. You're, you're being set free. Hmm. Hmm. There's an announcement here of something here. Hmm. I'm also seeing someone working really hard and they have like some kind of, this is like a um, year of the dragon here. Th this, this is someone that has like an ax, like a, some kind of like tool, like a thing in their hand, that, like that, like a lumberjack type of thing, like someone that works really hard, like a hammer or something, like outside. This is like construction or something. Like someone that's working very hard in their life. So you could be working really, really hard this week. This could also be someone coming towards you that they're just, they work very hard. They take their work very serious. You're the rat here. Hmm. You know, I'm hearing something with like Disney. Maybe you're visiting Disney this week. Letter M. Letter U. This is also luck is on your side this week. As you have a horseshoe here. We have you're the rooster here. We have you're the ox. You're of the goat. Wow. You're of the rat. Luck is on your side this week. Number five is Year of the Dragon. 555 five, five, I'm seeing here. So you could be seeing a lot of 555. Five, five. That is um, when you're going to be very lucky. Love. We have love here. Ch oh, you're the monkey here too. I was going to say, you're going to take a leap of faith with love here. You, There's a lot of Chinese zodiacs getting together here. Um... Letter K, letter H. Yeah, you could be finding, you know, your, the love of your life this week. Being asked out. Maybe they're finally coming to light here. Letter S. Maybe they're finally going to express their feelings. Especially if you're the zodiac signs. You could be falling in love this week. I'm definitely seeing someone disappointed here. Letter V. Um... But I, I'm hearing it's all part of the plan here. It's all part of the plan. Like, you need to wake up. Like, don't feel disappointed because things are, yeah, they're moving pretty slow. But it's in your benefit. You're being protected here. There's a path opening up for you. Actually, there's a few here. But this one's very significant towards the end of the week. Yeah, someone's definitely going to break up with somebody here. There's a breakup here this week. Right in the beginning. I'm not sure. Hmm. 
Yeah, and look, there's there's something opening up for you. And it has to do with your money here. There's an opening with money. Maybe this is an opportunity. What is, what is this this um this opening here of uh like with that path here? Okay, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the world. Hmm. Two of Pentacles. The Magician and the Hierophant. Okay, so... Wow, and, and the Queen of Cups underneath. So, this can be like... People at your work that want to hire you. You could have two offers. Um, wow, and I just, I just dropped the Queen of Swords. So, maybe you're not going to take this offer. You're going to take the one from this Queen of Pentacles here. Because there's two options here. And it's happening right now because you manifested this. But it was in divine timing and now it's happening here and you could be getting a high level position here but i feel like you're going to say no to this first one because this is the first one that i pulled so the first option you're going to say no to the second one you're in, you're going to end up saying yes to mm, interesting so what do we got here a lot we have a bear head here and I feel like it's announcing something to you. Year of the goat and Capricorn energy here. Year of the horse is here as well. So it's some kind of communication here. We have year of the pig. And I'm also seeing something about the bay here. Letter Z. And look, this looks like kind of like a pig here. The nose. So definitely something with year of the pig here. I don't know. Maybe they're going to tell you something this week. And someone definitely has their eye on you here. Right here. Look at that big ass eye. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely, um, you know, protect your energy here. Mm. This is... um something that has a lot of staying power here something you've been doing for a while it's going to make you money for years to come yeah and it's something you've been climbing a mountain on for a long time here and you're almost at the top but uh, you know i'm kind of hearing like this and spirits right here behind you uh, watching over you but you know when you want to get somewhere like you think you want to be popular and all that shit right but then you know that, that there's things that you don't know about or hear about when you get to the top. That's what this is. It's like for a long time you've been saying, oh, you know, I want to be popular. I want to, you know, make it. I want to be a celebrity. I want to be a, the greatest band in the whole world. I want to do this and do that, right? But then when you start making it closer and closer to the top, it gets scarier. You know, it gets like, you know, there's people up there that are evil and shit. And once you know about this stuff, you can't come back down. So I feel like it's something with this energy here. You know, not everything is as it seems here. Because there is a temptation here. Mm. Two things are taking their time. This is already gone here. One wish is coming true. And look, someone's trying to reach out their hand to that. Someone needs help here. They, they need your help this week. It's it, it's like a, a hand that needs your help. Someone's going to be asking for your help this week. Hmm. Interesting here. Wow. Someone needs your help here. You're of the snake. I'm also seeing like a Japanese painting here with like the tree and the plants and the that that grow all different types of ways. I'm seeing letter O here. There's also a message here coming toward you from spirit. It could be through a locket or a necklace or something. 
Maybe you're buying a necklace this week and it's significant. It's going to give you power and help protect you. And there's some kind of flower here that's growing in your life. And it's very positive. I feel like this is like within like your, your, yourself, like you're be, you feel like you're be becoming more valuable here. Some somehow something's making you feel very valuable. Year of the dog. Year of the rat. Year of the monkey is here. Year of the goat. Cancer is here. Scorpio. Aquarius. Leo. Virgo. Aquarius. Sagittarius. I'm also in my head I'm hearing Taurus and I'm also seeing Pisces here so all the water signs are here mm. you're the monkey I don't know if you own a pug or you like pugs but they're, that's showing up too <laughs> I don't know you have the rabbit and you're being gifted a key here of something, letter G. There's like a key here, year of the snake, love here. Hmm. And there's a genie lamp here. So make a wish this week. And I'm hearing something, you wished for something on the 13th and it's gonna come true. Letter J, letter A, letter W, letter N, letter O, letter T. It's coming true now. Okay, so let's get some charms. Let's see. For the week, oh. Hold up. This just landed on my leg. It was an X. Okay, hold up. This is stuck on my finger. Letter A. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we have letter K here. Letter S. I'm hearing cousin here. Steve Stewart. Let's get all these letters first. Yeah, like um studio, you know what I mean? Or like um that brand of record player. I don't remember the name of it right now. Studio Baker or something. In Kind Kafir. Maybe you're gonna start eating Kafir. Or maybe something with dairy. Fill up. A feud here. Maybe you're going to have a feud with somebody. You're going to have an argument. U. V. E. FedEx here. Maybe you're going to get a letter from FedEx. Or uh, maybe you're going for a job with FedEx. I don't know. But maybe you're going to get an interview or something. Or get the job. Bueno, something's gonna be good this week. Bueno, or you're gonna be learning Spanish, speaking Spanish, no problem here. Um, yeah, X S, definitely like an X is coming here. K W A. X X. I, Allie, Peter, Patel, Bell, Next, 
Nexus, isn't that like a computer program or something? Maybe you're a computer programmer or something, or something with computers this week. It's gonna be significant. Let me see, hold up. Let me get all these first. And RJ Jr. is here. H, helmet. Mm. You have two numbers here. And hold on, let me get the rest of these letters so you could see. Montana, Minnesota, Montgomery. What do we got here? St. Louis or something, right? I don't know. What do you guys see here? I'm seeing Belleville. Fernando, Fernandez, Frank. Peanut butter. Netflix, something with Netflix this week. Yeah, you're definitely gonna be receiving a message here. Okay, so let's see these other charms, right? So you got, I choose strength. So you're definitely gonna choose strength this week, this week, or there's something where you're gonna have to choose strength this week. I don't know. So maybe something's gonna make you feel like, you know, you need to defend yourself. Oh, wait, this is the numbers you got. L number eight. And this could be a number nine or a number six here. So 86, 68, 89, 98 could be significant. Year of the monkey, year of the goat. 78, 17 could be significant. Year of the horse, year of the rat, year of the goat again. 14 could be significant. Year of the rabbit, year of the rat, and year of the dragon. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. This is what I was talking about, like that record player type of thing. So there's something with music this week that's significant. Old music. Maybe you're buying a, a record player or listening to records or you're collecting records. Kelmer. Kyle. And you're winning something this week. You're being um, seen as valuable this week you're you're overcoming a problem an issue that you're winning something getting a trophy yeah and you're getting a message this week too you're receiving a, a message somehow it could be a literal message like you know a letter like i said fedex here <laughs> right but it could also be you know i'm also hearing a doctor's note so there could be like a doctor's note or something or um this could be someone that's going to send you a message an invitation. Yeah, I love you. Maybe this is someone that is going to declare their love to you here. You know what I mean? Yeah, and look, this this love is stuck in here. They could be your of the dog. 57, 75 could be significant. Choose, always choose to do your best. Oh, and this is has to do with love. This has to do with a soulmate specifically because these hearts are together there could be an age gap between you and this person yeah look at this you got the hot air balloon wow this is like taking a trip of your dreams here taking a trip of your dreams it's like something so unexpected here this is unexpected it could be like an un an unplanned trip of a lifetime here wow yeah and you're gonna be enjoying some really nice food this week maybe you're gonna go on some kind of really fun date or maybe you're just going to have like a really, you know, nice donut or something or some kind of sweets you're eating this week. Yeah, there's something this week where you're going to have to take control of your life. Like there's something where you're going to have to take control of your life. And I literally got this charm last week, if you guys remember. Yeah, so there's something there's something with a significant trip. Travel here. Very, very important. There, there's something life changing here. Yeah, and you have you have very cool times ahead, I'm hearing. Very cool times ahead, like very chill. Like chilling out, relaxing. Yeah, and that's my jar going off, so that's confirmation right there. You're going to be chilling. 
like relaxing, maybe hanging out with friends, enjoying your life. We have letter Y here. And I'm also seeing kiss right there. So maybe you like that band kiss or, you know, maybe you're going to kiss somebody this week. I don't know. 87, 78 could be significant. It's always oh, significant. Always better together. Something with the throat chakra here. Someone's going to speak up. Yeah, you need to cut ties with something here. Or literally you're getting a haircut or changing your look. Or you're becoming like a hairstylist or a barber or something significant. Maybe you have to get ready for an event. I don't know. There's something that was in the cup as well. So it's very significant. Oh, and I'm also seeing right here. This is a bouquet here of flowers. Someone's going to gift you flowers here. There's like a, a gift here. And I'm seeing a dog here. So you're of the dog. Or this is someone that's very loyal to you. Or your dog needs attention this week. Something like that. M and H could be significant here. Ooh, and you have the spider here. So this is like obsession here. Someone's obsessed with you. They're stuck on you. And they're very tempted by you. I love you here. Yeah, this is someone that's like obsessed with you. They see you as the star here. They see you as like the one. The one and only. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this could be someone that's at a distance from you or they're in another part of the world, part of the world here. You know, they could be a foreigner here or you're traveling to um, Europe. And we have the anchor here. We have the, the captain's wheel and the anchor. Oops, 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 sorry. It's very sensitive. Okay, so you literally could be going on a boat this week or you're a captain or something or you work on a boat something significant about like boats here maybe you're going on a cruise or something and literally the anchor is like something that's holding you either holding you back or holding on to you letter y is here look at this this is significant this week letter y because you know those ones are rare super tiny and you're gonna feel very vulnerable about a situation this week something's gonna make you feel very vulnerable here this could have to do with knowledge maybe you're gonna find something out you're gonna do your research or this could literally be you just reading a new book or something or reading a book catching up maybe doing schoolwork, signing up for a new skill or something learning a new hobby oh here we go Look at, look at this effing parrot here. I love parrots, they're really pretty and stuff, but this one is a gossiper. <laughs> this one's talking shit, all right? There's someone that's gossiping here. It could be you though, I don't know. Are you a big gossiper? And we have a bat here. This is an enemy here. This is someone that is not nice, that's talking shit. It could be two people around you, but listen, it doesn't matter because you're the dragonfly, so you're free. You don't give a shit. You don't care about what anybody else thinks of you. You're living your best life. And strong is beautiful. And that's what you are. And that's what you're being seen as. And just keep up, you know, the good work that you do. And uh, that's it. That's your reading. That's all I have for you. And I hope you enjoyed this. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support and love. And I will see you in the next weekly. Namaste. Love and light.